Hello, welcome again to the old principle. I am the old principle, and we're going to have another English instructional program. Now, generally, I speak quite fast. I do help a little bit with Chinese. My Chinese is not too hot, but it's it's fair, Mama Hu. But you will learn a lot of new words today. Now we do need to look at this. It's number ninety-two, the last patient. Zui hui ge bing ren. Okay, the last patient. With that, we need a storyteller, and I have my own storyteller. I live with her every day. <laughs> okay, so、uh, Mrs. A, would you read us the story? Surely. Beth. A young nurse working in a large university hospital had been on duty for nearly fourteen hours. She'd agreed to do a double shift in order to fill in for her roommate who was sick. She was now nearing the end of the shift and feeling very tired. Ah,、oh, if I could only get a short nap, she thought. I'd be able to finish the shift and go home. But there was no time for napping. She stopped by a water fountain and dabbed cold water onto her face and wiped it with her handkerchief. Still drowsy, she began her last rounds for the night. She had only eight patients, and she checked each one, taking their vital signs. Temperature and blood pressure. She was going from room to room, moving almost mechanically. Approaching room sixteen, she realized that she hadn't been to this room all night. Huh? Strange, she thought. The long hours must have affected me more than I thought. Entering the room, she saw that the man lay on his side, his back toward the door. She remembered him from earlier in the day. He had looked a little tired then, but now he seemed to be sound asleep. Beth was so tired; she didn't want to wake him and have to talk to him. She gently lifted his hospital gown and carefully took his temperature, like they'd done when her grandmother was a nurse. She smiled. He didn't move. But, to her surprise, when she examined the thermometer, it read only eighty-seven degrees, thirty degrees Celsius. How can this man still be alive with a temperature that low? Adrenaline flowed through her veins, and she suddenly felt fully awake. She rolled the man onto his back to take his blood pressure. Only then did she discover that, in fact, the man was dead. Had she done something wrong? Probably not. But the finality of death is always a shock. Thank you. This is a little bit more serious. Yes.、Uh, okay. Thank you. You're free at least for a few minutes. Okay. Now, here we go. This is number ninety-two. The world of hospitals and nurses and sick people、uh, is foreign to me. In other words. It's not well. It's foreign to all of us. Foreign, in this case, means it's not something that's common. It's uncommon. Okay, but we all get sick, and sometimes we all end up in the hospital. Well, not all of us, but some of us end up in the hospital. So today maybe is a little bit sad, but. There are many words and ideas that are worth learning. These are words. 
that are important in your understanding of the English language. Okay, so here we are. Beth, okay, Beth, a young nurse working in a large university hospital. Okay, Beth. Uh, that's a lady's name. And in fact, uh, I think, um, isn't your sister Beth, wasn't she a nurse too? Oh, so Mrs. Ash, my wife's sister's name is Beth, and she uh, was, is a nurse. Although, today's story is not about her. Okay? Okay. Beth was a young nurse working in a large university hospital. Of course, you have large hospitals, but sometimes the hospitals are connected to the university. In fact, the, sometimes the hospital is inside the university or part of the university. So Beth was a young nurse working in a large university hospital. She had been on duty for nearly 14 hours. She had been on duty for nearly 14 hours. So, what does it mean to be on duty? Zhiban. Zhiban. She had been on duty 14 hours. Okay. Nearly, nearly. Okay. She agreed to do a double shift in order to fill in for her roommate was sick. Okay. Ta Tong Yi. She was willing to agree to do a double shift. Liang ban. Okay. Liang ban. Double shift. Shift is just ban. Okay. So she was willing to do a double shift. Liang ban. Uh, Wei Di Yao. What? Fill in four. Fill in four. What is fill in for? Fill in for means dai uh, ti or chu dai. Okay? Dai ti, her roommate. Of course, we all know what a roommate is. Somebody who lives in the same room that you do. But what was wrong with her roommate? Her roommate was sick. Ta zuji is sung bing le. Okay, her roommate was sick. Going on. She was now nearing the end of the shift. Okay. Nei ban yijing kuai yao wan bi. Okay, now, so you've got two shifts. How long is a shift? A shift is usually eight hours. Eight hours of working. Uh, sometimes nine hours or eight and a half hours. Uh, uh, so anyway, she is nearing the end of the ship and feeling what? Very tired. Of course, uh, you would feel very tired. Two shifts. She has already worked 14 hours. She's very tired. She probably has two more hours to go. Worked 14, still have a couple hours, two, three more hours to go. And of course, you would feel very tired. If I could only get a short nap, uh, uh, she thought, 她就想, huh? Okay, a short nap. 
she thought. I'd be able to finish the shift and go home. 我就会, uh, finish the shift. 做完我内班, 其实这个是第二班, okay? And go home. So this is the thinking that is going through her mind. But, this is the problem, but there was no time for napping. Okay, napping. Uh, there was no time for our napping. She stopped by the water fountain. So she went by the yin shui qi, okay? And the water fountain, hmm, yin shui qi. And dabbed cold water on her face. What is the dab? I don't know. Maybe it says here, but I, but I know dabbing is you get a little bit of water and then you put it on your face. Okay, what do you do that for? It's cold water. What does cold water do? It makes you ah wake up and you just feel really, really good. Actually, that works for a while, but when you really, really, really get tired, then sometimes nothing seems to work. You just, it just, oh, I just feel like sleeping. So, she dabbed cold water, lung shui, on her face and wiped it off, okay, talk on, okay, wiped it off with her uh, handkerchief. What is a handkerchief? So, uh, so she took, she took, do I have a handkerchief? Nah, don't have a handkerchief. Okay, she took her handkerchief and she wiped her face, wiped the water off of her face. Okay, handkerchief, so okay. Still drowsy, stop go. She's still sleepy. Drowsy means sleepy. She is sleepy. She feels tired. Uh, and drowsy is, you know, if, hmm, how can you, how can I look sleepy? Do I look sleepy? Well, maybe not enough, but she felt sleepy. She began her last rounds. Now, round has several meanings in English. Maybe many meanings. I didn't look it up. Rounds is a yuan xing de, okay? To go around, so rao guo, yiga dong xi, okay? To go around something, or rao yi chen. But in a hospital, a doctor and a nurse, they do rounds. What does that mean? That means they go from this bed or this patient to another bed to another patient and go one, two, three, four, five, six until they have gone all the way around and then they're done. So she began her last rounds. That means that she has to go to check and to see every patient. This is her last rounds for the night. What does that mean? That means that, that when she's finished, she's done, and she can go home and rest. Going on. She had only eight patients. Okay. So how many patients? She had eight of them. And she checked their each one, 
每一个 ，OK， 看一看它每一个 ，taking their vital signs, OK, vital signs, OK, OK, to take 测量 in this case 测量 to to take, OK. Vital, vital comes of viva to live life. Vital, 生命关于生命的 Okay, signs, 指标 Or you could sometimes say indicators. Okay, so she is 测量他们生命的指标 Okay, uh, like. Okay, temperature. Okay, 他们的温度 and their blood pressure. 这个血压 These are vital signs. Okay, and、uh, if your temperature is high, you have a problem. If your temperature,、uh, your blood pressure is too high, 啊，你血压太高 this is a problem. Or maybe too. Low. Okay. Now, she was going from room to room. Okay. So she's going on her rounds from room to room, moving almost mechanically. 几乎是好像是机器人 Okay. Mechanically. Ah,、uh, in this place, mechanically means 好像机器人一样 Going on. A booting. Room sixteen. Tante lay down. Room sixteen. She realized that she hadn't been to this room all night. She just thought, "Ah,、oh, all night, 整个晚上 she had not been to that room." Okay, so she went in there. Room sixteen. Next. Strange. 奇怪啊、uh, She thought. She just thought. The long hours must have affected me more than I thought. This is the third grade, because it's two two grades. Ah, long hours, many hours, must have affected me more than I thought. Okay, it must have affected me more than I thought. Okay, it must have affected me more than I thought. Going on. Entering the room, so she entered into the room, and she saw the man laying on his side. Okay, so how do you sleep at night? You can sleep on your back, you can sleep on your stomach, or you can sleep on your side. I like to sleep on my side.、Uh, So she went in there, and the man、uh, saw that the man lay. Is, 躺呢，躺躺下来 Okay, okay. On his side, his back toward the door. 他的背朝着这个门 So the man was facing away from her. Okay. Going on, she remembered him from earlier in the day. So that day, early in the day, he remembered. He just remembered. Okay, okay. He had looked a little tired. He just looked a little tired. He just looked a little tired. He just looked a little tired. Sometimes lay the yangs, ah, but now he seemed to be sound asleep. Now is sleeping very comfortable. Sound asleep means sleeping very well. Going on. Beth was so tired. Beth was so tired. She was so tired. She didn't want to wake him and have to talk to him. She didn't want to wake him and have to talk to him. She didn't want to wake him and have to talk to him. 
awake. Sometimes some people would say wake. Some people would say awake. Awake him. She didn't want to wake him. Why did she not want to wake him up? Why? Because she didn't want to talk with him. Why? Because she was too tired to talk. She was very, very weary. Going on. She gently lifted his hospital gown. Hospital gowns is yu and the ifu. Yu and the ifu. Okay? Hospital gown. She lifted it up gently. Gently means uh, very slowly, very cautiously. Huh? Okay? And carefully, hen xiao xin de, took his temperature. Liang Tada Wendu. Uh, like they'd done when her grandmother was a nurse. Okay. Now apparently uh they went her grandmother, Tada Tsumu, Yetsu So they they checked people Tsiliang, Tam and the Wendu. Uh they did it from the back. I don't know, I've never seen that, but maybe that's true. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Very, very, very carefully. Okay. Going on. She smiled. He didn't move. He didn't Going on. But to her surprise. Okay. She Okay, what surprised her? Okay, when she examined the thermometer, what is a ther thermometer? That's the thing that you measure with. She examined the thermometer and it read only 87 degrees, which is in a uh, in America, we use Fahrenheit. Uh, 87. So this is too low. 87 is too low. Uh, so she said 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, uh, going on. How can this man still be alive with a temperature this low? So this is what she's thinking. She's thinking this all along. Going on. Okay, adrenaline. Do you know what adrenaline is? Let me see if this says what it is. You know what that is? Okay. Whatever that is, adrenaline is a hormone, something that goes in your blood. When you get excited, suddenly lots of it goes through your blood. And it makes you have lots of energy. Whoa. It's okay. Adrenaline flowed through her veins. Okay, veins. Okay, okay. Her veins, guan. So what does that mean? When it says adrenaline flowed through, uh, flowed through her veins, it just means that she got very excited, and she was not sleepy at all. Okay, and she suddenly felt fully awake. 突然间, she was awake. She was not sleepy. She rolled the man onto his back. Onto his back. Okay? And uh, to take his blood pressure. Go ahead. Only then. Only at that time did she discover 
他就发现怎么样 ？Next, the man was dead. 他已经没有生命。Going on, had she done something wrong? 他有没有做错 ？I, you know, people will ask. I wonder if I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Probably not. Why? Because many people, actually, many people die in their sleep. So she probably didn't、uh, do anything. But the finality. This is a, a final finality. Okay, 这个结局啊， uh, 这个死亡的结局。Okay, the finality of death is a shock. 使人家蛮震惊的。Always, none of us like. To be around death, it's not happy. So we don't like it, but it's life. That's the way life is. There's nothing that you can do about it. 死亡的结局还存在 Okay, with that,、uh, we're finished with.、Uh, we don't have sad ones like this all the time. <laughs> Okay, let's take a look at that. Our email address is theoldprincipal、uh, at gmail dot com, and the website, our woman's website is www.theoldprincipal. dot org. Until the next time, join us for another interesting lesson.